Hey everybody, I am here to show you how to complete your uh, CSS properties notebook and your HTML tags notebook. So here I am on uh, code.org and this up here, studio.code.org slash s slash csd2-2022 slash lessons slash to slash student should uh, get you directly to here, or you could just log into code.org and go to lesson two. In lesson two, we will see some um, introduced code. All we have to do really is just click on one of these items and it'll take you to the, the documentation. So here we have studio.code.org uh, slash docs slash IDE slash web lab slash expressions slash doc type. So this like gives you all of the stuff here. Wow, this is interesting because it showed up in Spanish. I'm not sure why, but there it is. Um, but you can see here uh, we have body, we have comment, we have all of the um, HTML that was introduced. And down at the bottom here, we have all of the CSS that was introduced. So you can uh, feel free to kind of go into each of these items and uh, paste them into your paper. Uh, so for example, we have the doc type here. This could give us some information. Just here's the doc type, right? Um, head, this is the head, etc., etc. So here, ah, here we go again. Here's HTML tags and CSS properties. Great. So same thing here with CSS properties. We can use background color, right? Um, syntax is background color value. We just basically grab background color. Um, and then the values would be things like um, hex value, RGB value, um, name value. Those are the things that would go alongside that in that second column. So the first column is the property, the second column is the value, um, and the third column describes what's going on there. All right, so that should help you with that. And so the same thing with HTML tags. The first tag is the opening tag, right? Um, we have all of our opening tags. So uh, the opening tag is the body. The closing tag is the closing tag for the body. Um, and then you can put any sort of additional information in there as well. And there's even more additional information that you can get from the W3 schools. All right, that should be it. Uh, hope that helps you guys figure out what you need to do. It should not be a hard task. Good luck.